God's grace to you and peace. Let us come together now in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, draw us to your embrace. Draw us close, O oh Lord, that we might feel the safety and security that you offer us in an uncertain world and an uncertain time. Lord, when it seems one moment to the next, life is changing all around us. And this world is chaotic, though at the same time it seems nothing's happening. Lord, how can we resolve the context of these times? The way they overwhelm us, the way that fear could overwhelm us, doubts and worries. Lord, we need your help. What do we do? Lord, we are confronted with our own mort mortality. We are confronted with the, the limits that life has, and it causes us to struggle with life and its meaning for us and for others, for those that we care about the most. So, Lord, we pray. We pray against our fears. We pray against these worries, these doubts, and all the deceptions that we are facing. Lord, we want truth, your truth, the gift of your word and by your Holy Spirit that uplifts us into life, even life everlasting. And so, Lord, we pray for revelation, for understanding, for wisdom, these things which endure, which guide us to endurance and to bring peace to the world around us, to offer words of hope, to be able to truly and well offer up the gospel as we celebrate Christ in our lives. Let us bring a sense of his healing, the awakening to his, feeling, to his healing, as others may embrace faith, and in that faith, Lord, that they will encounter their salvation and celebrate it, that they will know healing. Lord, it is by faith we are saved. It is in your, in your truth that we are truly uplifted and life finds its meaning. Guide us, Lord, this day. Guide my words and our devotion time together that we may reflect well on the word that you have given. This in Christ we pray. Amen. Today we're turning to Psalm 91. Very comforting words, very reassuring words in times of trouble. As it says... He shall cover thee, at verse 4, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. It's, it's pretty daunting at times the things that we we face. Oh, there's no one shooting arrows, hopefully, into our backyard. But we're uncertain about where trouble may come from. And pestilence. We live in a day and age where, well, once we thought it was so far from us, or there was a, a special diagnosis that we'd need to have in order to really encounter it. It was for those who were chronically ill. And while we pray for them, we pray it also be far from us, yet we face a time where it's all around us. And that's, that's intimidating. And that's intimidating against what is most sacred, and that is our faith that God's got all of this in control. Yeah. And that is the call of the psalmist in this psalm, is for the awakening, the realization that there's arrows flying. There's diseases out there. There's lots of trouble. But God's bigger, better, stronger than all of this. God e even has a will and a power for what's going on right now. And while we see chaos, God's offering a way. God's creating a way. God's marking that way. God's calling out in the midst of that way. Come, follow me. And even... <laughs> While it seems like the whole world's falling around us, God's eyes haven't left sight of us. And his reward is true. And his reward is for those who cling to the faith that is given, that great blessed gift that brings us to salvation. Don't let it go. Don't let the deceptions fool you or draw you away from what is meant for your reward and a life feeling that reward which is the life of faith, which is the life that no matter what comes your way, you will endure, you will find joy. God will not leave you nor forsake you. Let us hold fast to truth. 
God bless and keep you.